It's another beautiful day in sunny San Diego, and today we're going to be exploring one of my favorite neighborhoods in Southern California, right here in downtown San Diego. We're at Little Italy, and we're going to see what it's like to live, work, and play in this quaint community, so stay tuned. You can do whatever you like, you don't have to be ready, you just gotta trust the right, you don't have to be scary. My name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as we do weekly videos discussing what it's like to live, work, and play in California. Today, I'm just northwest of downtown San Diego in the historic neighborhood of Little Italy. And there's so many things that we're going to view today from the shops to the restaurants to the real estate options as well. So let's get started. Little Italy is a unique neighborhood full of import shops, Italian eateries, art galleries, and a variety of mixed use buildings alongside detached homes, townhomes, and condos, all within 48 square blocks. And to Forbes, Little Italy is considered one of the best neighborhoods for millennials, so making friends in this demographic may be easy. There are several reasons why I enjoy Little Italy, so let's get into it. Guys, it's Friday morning and Little Italy is packed full of people dining, walking and shopping. I guess nobody has a job. I don't know what's going on, but that is specifically why I like Little Italy. There's always something happening. One of my favorite things about this neighborhood is that it's very walkable, so you can just park your car if you can find a parking spot, okay? First of all, if you ever come here on a weekend or, or the evening wanting to dine or just shop, it's going to take you a while to find parking. Nevertheless, it is an extremely walkable neighborhood. So if you're looking to get some dinner, maybe you want to hit a bar or a pub, you're on a date night, or maybe you just want to walk your best friend plenty of people walking their dogs each and every day throughout the day so it's an extremely walkable neighborhood i appreciate being able to park my car and walk to restaurants or shop if you want a coffee or you need to go to the grocery store or grab a bite it will all be within walking distance there are pizzerias where you can sit and relax and watch the water fountains the mix of old world architecture is also something to revel in and admire as you take in the city if you live in Little Italy, you'll have very few reasons to ever need a car. According to Walk Score, Little Italy is the third most walkable neighborhood in San Diego. Thanks to its great walkability, residents can get to almost every restaurant, bar, coffee shop, or grocery store on foot. And if you're not into walking, the neighborhood also has some bike lanes available on a few of the streets as well as public transportation via the San Diego Metropolitan Transit System. Okay guys, let's move on to the second reason that I love Little Italy and that is going to be the dining options and restaurants. I am a big foodie. I love going out to eat. I pretty much do it on a daily basis and Little Italy is going to provide almost a hundred different dining options right here within the community. I personally love Mexican food the most without question. However, Italian food is a distant second, to be totally honest with you. However, you're going to have a plethora of different dining options right here within walking distance. Little Italy has some great Italian food and wines to savor and enjoy. Whether you're looking for a celebrity chef restaurant experience, an authentic neighborhood pastoria, or fresh produce at the famous Saturday's Farmer's Market, food is a big part of life in Little Italy. There are almost 100 different eateries to choose from and offer many other types of cuisines, not just Italian food. There is sushi, burgers, Argentinian cuisine, and much more. As you can see, guys, there are numerous different dining options. It doesn't have to be pasta and pizza. However, obviously that's what Little Italy is known for. However, you're going to have numerous different options. Now let's move on to the next topic, which is going to be something that I really don't care to do. And it doesn't excite me by any means. However, I know most of you ladies will appreciate it and that's going to be shopping. Okay, so if you enjoy shopping until you drop, unlike me, which I personally just take me to the nearest Nike store and I'm going to be just fine. However, here in Little Italy, there's going to be 70 different specialty shops and boutiques. So if you want to grab some dinner, some lunch, and then do some shopping all while you're walking within the same neighborhood, this is a great place for you. As I'm walking through Little Italy, checking out the different real estate options, I see where the most beautiful homes along the street right here in Little Italy, it's gold. I met my friend Nick right here who has lived here 
for a very, very long time. According to Nick, he's lived here longer than I've been alive. <laughs> Nick, how do you enjoy living right here in Little Italy? I enjoy, I like it. Beautiful, beautiful. If I would not like, I would have lived here for 56 hours. I live here 56 years. Wow. 56 years now. Nick, did you design the home yourself? Yes. Awesome. I got a company, Painting and Decorator Company. What's your company name? Nick Pecoraro, Painting and Decorator. Now, me retired. My two sons are there to go over. Okay, so if you want some cool decoration and a nice paint job on your next home, call my friend Nick here. He can definitely assist you. Nick was telling me that he hardly ever has to leave his home because obviously Nick is basically the mayor of Little Italy. All these wonderful restaurants right here in the neighborhood bring Nick food and he doesn't even have to leave the comfort of his home. Nick, is that true or were you pulling yes, my leg? Yes, yes, they bring me food here. Awesome. Yeah, they, 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 they think I'm the mayor, so they, they want to be good with the mayor. Gotcha. <laughs> now, Nick, what is your favorite restaurant? So if I'm going to grab some lunch, where should I go? Okay. Usually, most of it, they are all good, you know. Each one is a little different, you know, but uh, most of it, I go to Nona, Cross the Street, uh, Farm Table, and uh, Mimos. Mimos, okay. And there's a few more next block. Got like Solunto. Gotcha. Uh, Buon Appetito. Those are the the one that really I, I like. Now, Nick, where were you born? Where were you born? Sicily. Sicily. Palermo. Sicily, Palermo. Guys, listen, I am, bring, I am bringing you breaking news. So, if Nick is going to advise you on where the best Italian food is, I'm going to listen to Nick because he knows better than I do. Now, Nick, if I wanted to grab a nice bottle of cab, just sit on a patio, have a bottle, and see the people walk by, what place should I go to? Go home. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, they usually they go to Princess, Princess Pub Grill, you know, the, and the, the other one is uh, next block, the Iron Side. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And that's about it. There. Now, Nick, I'm going to let you go on your day. Let me ask you one last question. If somebody wanted to live in this neighborhood, is it mostly families? It's it singles, young, older. What's your take on the neighborhood? To, to live here? Yes. Well, first thing, it's in, uh, I don't think you can find anything uh, available here. But most of it, they, they rented the place across the street in the building. Right. But I don't think there is nothing available right now here. See, and that makes perfect sense. Little Italy is one of the most popular neighborhoods right here in San Diego, especially in the downtown area. So if something comes on the market, obviously you're going to give Richard Soto at VIP Realty a call. And we have to jump on it very quickly because it's going to hit the market and be gone very quickly. Nick, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, my man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, everyone, moving on to the next item in regards to living, working, and playing right here in Little Italy. And you might assume that the only thing there is to do right here in this neighborhood is eat pasta, pizza, and drink bottles of cab every single day. And that's just not going to be the case. While there is a lot of things to do in regards to dining, shopping, entertainment, as far as bars and pubs, absolutely you can find that here as well. However, there's a lot of other items that you can do right here in Little Italy. Little Italy is going to offer numerous parks where you can work off that pasta and pizza and bottles of wine. Little Italy is also known as a very dog-friendly neighborhood. The dog park also offers an enclosed space for pets to be unleashed and play together. So guys, please, if you have a pet, a dog, make sure you keep them leashed up. I just saw two big dogs getting after it right around the corner. I guess both of their owners decided to let the leash go, which was not a good idea. So be a good pet owner and only unleash your pet at the dog park. Another popular thing that you can do right here in Little Italy is go hang out and do some shopping at the local farmer's market and people within the neighborhood and from around Southern California love coming to the farmer's market. If you're looking to do some local shopping in the neighborhood, then you'll want to know where the weekly farmer's market takes place. 
Every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., you'll see over 200 tents lined up. The neighborhood event includes items from, from more than 175 farmers and vendors offering a variety of arts and crafts as well as fresh organic produce. So if you have some downtime, you don't necessarily have to purchase items. Going to the farmer's market is just a good time to be had. There's definitely a lot of great produce, different arts, but just hanging out with your family and friends makes it a fun event as well. So maybe you don't want to go to the farmer's market. Maybe you don't want to go to the park and get some exercise. You can just sit right here at the Piazza, the largest square in the city of San Diego. There's the food hall on either side of me. Behind me, it's a beautiful fountain. And guys, directly in front of me, I have one of the most beautiful views of the ocean. I see the sailboats sailing across the water. You see the homes going up the background as well, not to mention numerous tables in front of me with a lot of families, people having a good time as well. Maybe you can just get yourself a gelato or a cappuccino. This is a great place just to hang out, kick back and relax. Okay, let's move on to real estate options right here in Little Italy. And there's going to be a minimal amount of options, mainly because the majority of the options here are going to be high rise condos and apartments, some townhomes, single family homes are going to be very, very limited in this particular neighborhood. However, that's going to be the case for the majority of downtown San Diego. So if you're looking for a single family home, let me know and I can talk to my buddy, Nick, the mayor of Little Italy. And he said he's always willing to sell if there's enough zeros behind that offer. And he said, Richard, you're the best broker in California. I know you can make it happen. Guys, so let's go into some statistics in regards to the real estate market right here in Little Italy. While it is more expensive to live in Little Italy compared to the national average, you can find more moderately priced homes as well. In January 2023, the medium listing home price in Little Italy was $692,000. The medium listing home price per square foot was almost $850, while the medium home sold price was around $740,000. Currently, there are about 15 homes for sale, ranging from about $500,000 to $2 million. There's also several apartment complexes if you choose to rent. The average rent for a one bedroom is around $2,700. Guys, so it's pretty pricey right here in Little Italy. You're going to have to pay for the convenience, the energy of the neighborhood, the convenience of the neighborhood. You can pretty much get anywhere throughout the city rather quickly if you reside in Little Italy. Guys, and there's so many great people that live right here as well. So if you want the best of everything, ching ching, it's going to have to cost you some money, obviously. Okay, guys, if you're going to hang out in Little Italy or if you're moving here, you have to make sure you get yourself a cannoli and a cappuccino or something, okay? Typically, it's chips and salsa for me, but I decided to switch it up today in honor of being a little Italy. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. It's a beautiful day. I am going to take the rest of the day, walk around and just hang out. It's beautiful in sunny San Diego, as we already know. Guys, if you're thinking about relocating to Little Italy throughout Southern California, San Francisco, my team and I would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. For now, I'll see you on the next video.